Welcome back, so happy to see you again. And today I want to share with you my current plan of learning skills as fast as possible. Rather than telling you the facts, this is how you do it, I'm doing more of a public commitment here and encourage you as well to do the 30 day challenge with me in which you are doing this learning routine and then after see what happens. And the reason why learning skills are so important is because in order to get what we want, call it money, status or whatever, we need to be good. And in order to be good, we need to learn and improve. Now, in terms of learning fast, one particular best-selling book that deals about this alter learning by Scott Young, and Scott Young himself has learned a lot of stuff fast, like for instance, the MIT challenge, in which he finished the entire four-year degree in just 12 months. And he also learned other stuff, like for instance, four languages within a year, programming, painting, etc. According to him, ultra learning basically come down to the same thing, which is focus and directly do the hard skill you want to improve at. Attack the weakest point, the weakest link, and be able to receive the true feedback. And even according to this paper, you learn the fastest by paying attention to the errors that you make. This is what cues attention and you can therefore solve the problems. So this is what I'm going to do for the next 30 days and probably throughout the entire lifetime. Repeat, pay attention to the negative aspects and simply state to myself that the negative emotion is the way. We are talking about tensions, we talk about discomfort, fear, frustration, failures, guilt, all that stuff. Actively seek out them, in other words, in order to see, okay, where's the next bottleneck that I can improve? Because as long as I continue to do so, then I'm not really hiding anything behind me. I'm seeing my weaknesses can therefore tackle them fast. But sometimes, and this has happened quite often, when you're leaning into this emotion, doing these uncomfortable things, that there are simply nothing else to do. And in those cases when I don't know what to do, I would just wait. It's this alternation between solving the bottleneck and go through the motions or just waiting and be receptive to what can happen. But all while doing that, I will not distract myself, paying attention to other activities, pretty much dedicate my entire 30 days fully to one thing, and not deviate until I reach excellence on those. And lastly, aside from paying attention to the negative emotions and waiting if that's the case, I'll of course pay attention to sleep and meditate in order to solidify the learning. So here's the 30 day challenge. One, ask yourself what you want to be better at. Two, figure out what needs to be done. And the more uncomfortable action, the better. We can talk conversation, we can talk drilling in the weakest points and stuff like that. And then be absolutely overjoyed of the negative experiences that come forward and the inevitable failures that will arise. Remember that the more you feel this negative and moving towards what you want, the better. That's something you can add to your home screen or calendar, or even tattoo. The worse I feel right now while moving towards what I want, the better. And then alternate between being a ruthless executor or just wait in a zen-like state called that. And especially in my case, my long-term plan is to reinvent the entire productivity space on YouTube. Right now, I don't feel it's sufficient enough because it's more of these concepts that looks very cool, but there is no direct application to them. Let's say, that, for instance, 5 p.m. and you don't know what to do next. You feel like there's something that you need to be doing, but are not doing that. What do you do in that circumstances? That's something I try to provide the most to you. The first thing for me is to be better at providing ultra actionable advice for productivity and illustrate with examples and stories and facts in order to back it up, of course. But what I'm also improving upon is to learn to speak fluently without the script. As long as you don't read anything, then it comes off more natural, which is something I really want to hone in. So that's it really, a very short update. The main takeaway is to ask yourself what you want to be better at, figure out when it's done, and actively seek out those negative experiences in order to move forward faster. And then if there's nothing to be done, just wait until you receive the clarity of what to do next. As always, I'm interested to see what you thought about in, in the comments. What will you learn during the next 30 days? And, and as a side note, in March, we're going to see how that happens. Until then, thank you so much for sticking around and always remember that you're the most amazing human being alive.